Hey guys, welcome back to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today we'll be looking at an all new security camera called the Nureo Spotlight Cam. Now the unique thing about this camera is one that is wireless as well as it is magnetically attaches to this mount that you can mount to just about anything. Not only that, it features geofencing. That is right, a way to go ahead and detect if you're home or if you're not at home using your phone. So the moment this fence detects that the user is home, it'll automatically disarm the alarm. But the moment you're out of the house, they'll automatically arm it so you know that your house is safe and sound when you're not at home. Now, together we'll be unboxing it as well as trying it out. So if you guys want to learn more about them, check out the link down below the description. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so this here is the packaging. Overall, a really simple box. Just kind of showcases the product here. As you kind of rotate it about, it kind of highlights some of the features. So you do get 100% wire-free capability, so you don't need to connect it to anything. Uh, it's got 1080p, as mentioned, night vision. Uh, it's got a local storage as well as a cloud storage, and this features at 8 gigabytes. Uh, it's got an AI detection, which is that whole motion, which includes an activity zone, so you can go ahead and set up your own boundaries. 180-day uh, battery life, so about 6,500 mAh from my understanding, as well as water resistance, two-way audio, and Wi-Fi connection. Uh, other than that, pretty straightforward. Let's open it up and see what it comes with. All right, so in terms of contents, it's quite simple. So you get some mounting brackets. Uh, you get a USB-C cable to go ahead and charge it. You do get a mounting mechanism. So you actually have two different variations of it. Uh, one is a magnetic attachment. So this here is a magnetic. So you can go ahead and mount this any direction that you want based on your own custom fit. Uh, now it can literally mount on the side of a wall. It can mount on the bottom of a wall. It can't mount on the top of a wall. You would actually have to physically rotate the camera and mount it like that. So there is no magnetic portion on the top. So just keep that in mind. But everything else is fair game in terms of magnetivity. Now you also have a manual physical rotational mount. So you just go ahead and screw that in. Then you could mount this on the wall in which it does come with some mounting hardware. So overall, pretty simple concept. Now looking at the camera itself is actually pretty cool. So it almost is the size of a baseball is what I would say. So you do have your camera here on the front. You have your microphone. You have two different sensors here as well as a light. On the back here, you do have a power button as well as a sync button. And then the microphone here is gonna be on the bottom portion there. Uh, you pop open this cap here and this will house our charger port. Uh, and that is about it in a nutshell. So let's go ahead and hit this on button by hitting sync. Please set up your device and Mario app. All right, so we're all set and ready to go. So the first thing we're gonna do is scan our QR code on the back here. This will pair the device to your network so you can go ahead and use it. Once you go ahead and scan it, you can then control it really easily. So from here, this here is gonna be our main hub. So you can see it kind of shows the camera right there. So we named it front door to kind of give you a little brief about what it is. So if I click this here, it'll automatically pop it up and kind of showcase exactly what the camera is seeing. So if I kind of rotate the camera there, you can see me right there. Now there is a bit of a delay, but again, uh, it does portray it quite well. It's got a nice wide angle lens. Now you can talk through it. So with this one here, there is a red light. This will indicate that the camera is on. Uh, if I talk through it, all I gotta do is click on this phone button here and I can speak. So it is quite user friendly in that capability. So you have a nice loud speaker. So if it is outside, the viewer can actually hear you quite well. And it also has a microphone built into it. So if I click this the speaker button here, I can actually hear what the camera's hearing on the other side. Testing, testing. Clicking the top right button here. This will rotate the screen so you can see exactly what is happening. You can even pinch in there, you can pinch out. So you do, you can zoom in, which is really nice. Now, if I go back here, I can activate my light on the bottom right. So if I click this button here, you'll see this bright light. So it is actually quite bright and it also has night vision too. So do keep that in mind. So it does have the capability to take care of itself in the dark. So click that there. Now it does have an alarm button. So if I click this little alarm button here, watch this. <laughs> 
So it does have a built-in alarm, which is really good to see. Uh, so if you ever see somebody or if you have to alert something, you can always use that function. Now with the alarm there, you do have a motion detection. So you can set it up, for instance, if you're out, out of the house, you can create a motion boundary. And if it detects a motion, it'll go ahead and trigger that alarm, or it can go ahead and give you a notification based on your own preferences. So if I just kind of click motion detection here, I can actually create my own activity zones as they call it. So if I click this here, I can click this. I can go ahead and adjust it based on my own personal needs. So I can make it like this, like that. So once I click save, this will create a motion boundary in that area. Now, if it detects a motion, I can uh, record, I can create an alarm, I can do a variety of different settings. So all I have to do is click back and click on away and this will arm our alarm. Now if it detects the motion, it should automatically start recording as well as trigger an alarm. <laughs> so just like that, it'll trigger the alarm. Now you can go ahead and hit disarm, so it won't do that again, but that is actually a great function. Now it being an eight gigabyte built-in storage as well as cloud storage, I can click on events here and see all the last motions that happened as well as captured. So whenever there is an alarm, it'll actually record that too, as well as if it detects a person. So overall, a really easy to use camera. Now besides that, if I go back in here, I can click on settings. I can adjust a variety of different things, including the video settings settings as well as night mode, uh, watermark, rotating 180 degrees. So if the camera is up on the ceiling like this, you can rotate the vision so it will look straight on the camera. You have your notifications, your privacy, and other variations of different features. So overall, it's simple to use and really user friendly. Now, if I go ahead and click on security in the bottom right, I can manage my security modes based on schedules so I can create my own calendar. Uh, and then I also have geofencing. Now that is actually a very unique feature. So if I click that button there, what this will do is automatically arm the alarm if I'm physically out of the house, knowing that my phone isn't there but it'll go ahead and disarm it when I'm back at home. So that is the future of these security systems. So essentially creating a geofence, knowing that the user is at home versus when they're not at home. So that is actually pretty cool and it actually makes it quite easy to use. Another thing you can do is attach it to a wall like this. So you add the 3M tape to your base and then you simply apply it to a location that you're interested. So let's say here for right now. And then from there, we can go and install our base station like this and then use the magnetic attachment to attach it based off of our own personal preference. It's that simple. Now another thing you do is you can use a magnetic base and attach it to anything that's metal like this and then you can attach the camera to the base station and you can mount this thing just about anywhere. All right, so another thing I wanna show you is a night vision display. So I have the camera mounted here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the lights now to show you what happens and we're in darkness right now, as you can tell in the cam regular camera, and just like that, our night vision was triggered. Now, if it happened to detect a motion, like for instance, if I walk in the screen here, you'll see that I shall highlight in white to showcase that there is a human being in here. That is actually pretty cool that it's able to do that. So uh, the night vision is actually pretty darn uh, accurate and it's quite clear too in terms of the footage goes. Wow, look at that. That's absolutely mind blowing. So I love the fact that they do have that feature in here, a line to go ahead and essentially use it for your own personal use. And other than that, overall, it's actually a really user-friendly camera. Now, I really like the whole concept of it, especially with the geofencing. Definitely creates a unique way of security cameras that function in your day-to-day -day life. And yeah, with that said, if you have any questions, comment down below. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.